Beyond Imagination, The Cosmic Wild Card, written by Greg Prescott, MS, founder and skipper of N5D.com, the hottest esoteric, metaphysical, and spiritual news on the net, narrated by Rockin' Larry Locken. Do you feel like something really big is on the horizon, but you cannot put your finger on what it is? What if there was a cosmic wild card that no one can truly imagine? There are many possibilities that could qualify as the cosmic wild card, so we will try to cover a few of them. The photon belt. The photon belt is a belt or a ring of photons is going to envelop the earth, causing a cataclysm and or initiating a spiritual transition with the time period leading up to the shift, referred to as the quickening. The theory based on an immense belt of photons orbiting around the Pleiades, according to some beliefs, Earth will pass through this belt of photons, resulting either in humanity's elevation to a higher plane of existence. Authors Virginia Essene, born in 1928, and Sheldon Nidal write that the photon belt represents a temporary window for spiritual transition during which time humans can reach a higher level of existence which they term the galactic level. Samuel Unwar adopted the idea in the late 1970s, refers to the photon belt as Alcyon rings, or the rings of Alcyon. Weir claims that Alcyon is the principal sun of the Pleiades, and its orbit gravitates seven suns, our sun being the seventh which circles Alcyon, according to Weir. Alcyon has rings made of radiation, caused by the splitting of the electron. Weir refers to this radiation as monastic, from the Sanskrit term for the mind, manas, and indicates that it in some ways relates to the distinction between the inferior manas, lower mind or lower self, and the superior manas, higher mind or higher self. Weir purports that the electrons in Alcyon's rings release a type of unknown energy, galactic superwave. According to Paul Lavalette, Lavalette, there has been galactic superwaves that emanate from our galactic core, which occur every 13,000 to 26,000 years or so. This would fall on the approximate timetable of the precession of the equinoxes which is a 26,000 year cycle according to La Violette. Galactic core explosions usually occur about every 13,000 to 26,000 years for major outbursts and more frequently for lesser events. The admitted cosmic ray escapes from the virtual unimpeded as they travel radially outward through the galaxy they form a spherical shell that advances at very close to the speed of light. While there are many possibilities that can occur, such as the ones listed above, there also remains the possibility of something occurring that no one has ever anticipated. Schumann Resonance The Earth's heartbeat is known as the Schumann Resonance, which has been recorded at speculation infers that the Earth may stop rotating once the Schumann Resonance reaches 13 cycles per second. At that point, the Earth would stop rotating for three days and then start spinning in the opposite direction, causing a magnetic reversal of the poles. Approximately 7.83 cycles per second for presumably a thousand thousands of years. In recent years, the Schumann resonance has been rising and was recently recorded as high as 8.50. Speculation infers that the Earth may stop rotating once the Schumann resonance reaches 13 cycles per second. At that point, the Earth would stop rotating for three days, then start spinning in the opposite direction, causing a magnetical reversal of the poles. Under this premise, the magnetic pole reversal may affect the way the hemispheres in our brain interact. Three possible scenarios exist in such a situation. One, nothing happens to our brains. Two, the hemispheres of our brains instantly interact with one another, opening up synopsis to a higher metaphysical abilities. Three, we all go crazy. Cosmic rays, cosmic rays from coronal mass ejections may possibly mutate our DNA into the next realm of spontaneous evolution. Cosmic rays from the coronal mass ejections may possibly 
mutate our DNA into the next realm of spontaneous evolution. David Sereda has been working diligently in this area of science. According to Sereda, since 2006, scientists have been noticing a difference in the decay rates in nuclear particles, which has been consistently reliable in previous years. What does this mean? It isn't typical to see such a drastic change in these decay rates. Scientists are seeing a change of one-tenth of one percent in these particles, which was previously unheard of and is unexplainable at the moment. When a particle speeds up, it means it's radiating more energy. This includes the energy in particles within our own bodies. Studies on DNA have indicated that even very weak changes in the energy field can cause profound changes in our DNA. Galactic ribbon and galactic bubble, there is an energy field at the edge of the Milky Way galaxy that's described as a ribbon. This is shocking news results for us and one that is not entirely understood, said David McComas, lead scientist on a NASA mission called Emissions That Could Feasibly Alter Our DNA. There also exists a galactic bubble that appears to be growing in size above above and below the Milky Way galaxy. Is it possible that these changes are related to our location to the center of the Milky Way galaxy as we near the precession of the equinox? Do the changes in our sun have any relevance to the changes in our solar system? How do these changes affect us on a cellular level? Mass UFO landing, how would you react if out of the blue a mass UFO landing occurred? What if this was your galactic family wanting to bring you back home if you had to make a decision right now without being able to consult friends and family, would you leave or would you stay with Mother Earth? The Harvest. According to the Law of One channelings, the book argues that the goal of a soul is to polarize in two different directions. Positive polarization, labeled as service to others, through identifying with others empathetically, empathetically or negative polarization, labeled as service to self. Through separating the self from others, souls are said to harvest and proceed to the next level once they are properly polarized. Some argue that this is harvesting of energy by archonic forces, while others believe this is a harvest of souls who are ready for the next level of spiritual progression. The Unknown Wild Card the true unknown wild card may can't come in a form of something completely unanticipated and could happen in the blink of an eye. Most people within this genre innately feel that whatever this event may be, it will be positive. Many, as, many of us have a sense of impending urgency compiled with a desire to go home. Whether home is going back to the organic earth or to your galactic planet of origin, the feeling remains. We all feel like we are on the verge of something magnanimous, yet it is difficult to pinpoint exactly what that might be. Many of us have a sense of impending urgency, compiled with a desire to go home. Whether home is going back to the organic earth or to your galactic planet of, or of origin, the feeling remains. Be aware that as long as we are still within the matrix, we will remain pawns in a much larger game. As events unfold, try to think logically about what possible motives may exist for whatever choice you decide, as well as, you, as how your decision may affect those you love. What do you think? This has been Rockin' Larry Lockin narrating um, this great article written by Greg Prescott. I do have to apologize. I had some dental work done, and I'm still waiting to get a denture. So... I apologize if I messed up on some of the words, but I hope everybody enjoyed the article. You can listen, or of course you can read the transcript written by the great Greg Prescott himself. And on behalf of the entire staff of N5D, I would just like to wish everybody a great weekend and namaste.